Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight. Now, normally, uh, I am known for the uh, CM Punk bashing I've been accused of many times since he uh, took his bag and he left professional wrestling to head to the uh, greener pastures of the UFC to try his uh, future goals. Uh, as of right now, I... Very heard. I've heard very limited things about how his UFC training is going, but he's still going at it strong, even though there hasn't been a match announced. And I'm really, really looking forward to what's going down. But uh, I thought that it was it was kind of funny because today, um, when I was making a video talking about the upcoming WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, Texas, I was bringing up the fact that WrestleMania was bringing out a lot of these part-time workers or even trying to bring guys you know out of retirement like Stone Cold Steve Austin because as of right now a lot of people drawing up what the Wrestlemania card is going to be Undertaker versus Sting The Rock versus Triple H uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Brock Lesnar that being three of the big matches there's only about eight or nine matches that's almost half of the card filled up with guys that aren't really on Monday Night Raw Smackdown or even house shows throughout the whole year said you might as well try and find a way to bring CM Punk back to have one more match um, and this is going to throw some fuel on the fire it seems that there's been a uh, a, a beef uh, picked up uh, by uh, the national sports news uh, over the uh, Stanley Cup which is going down right now uh, with the uh, CM Punk's Chicago Blackhawks going up against the Tampa Bay Lightning uh, home of Hulk Hogan. Um, you know, uh, CM Punk is a very vocal um, Chicago supporter. You see him at uh, Cubs games. You see him at Blackhawk games. Um, it's almost uh, like he, this guy has season tickets for hockey and he loves his Chicago sports. Now, Hulk Hogan, uh, how he might not be the biggest um, sports fan um, in town or he might not be like the, the smartest guy on the block, um, Hulk Hogan does go to a lot of the Tampa Bay uh, Devil Ray games. He does go to a lot of the Lightning games. Um, I, I'm sure that it's just fun times to kick back. I know that uh, uh, one of the Nasty Boys, um, you know, they they like to go to these deals. And uh, they've uh, Hogan wasn't a part of it, but they even had Wrestling Night at a Tampa Bay um, uh, Devil Ray game a few years ago. And they're not even the Devil Rays anymore. They're just the Rays. But that team has fallen so far off the face of the earth that it, it, it doesn't even matter right now. They had a a real hot team of course everybody can remember they went to the world series a couple of years ago but then um players started getting hurt they started play trading players off and uh dumping salary and it's gonna be a while before this comes back but tonight uh cm punk uh felt that he needed to uh uh, fire back at Hulk Hogan, who had uh, you know spoke his name first um, tonight on uh, CSN in Chicago. Uh, CM Punk was uh, in front of a, a large supporter uh, group of the uh, Chicago Blackhawks and uh, basically called Hulk Hogan out for being a fake hockey fan. Hulk Hogan uh, basically said that uh, Chicago was in a lot of trouble, um, that Hogan was going to be going home, he's going to have a little talk with the Tampa Bay Lightning guys, and uh, you know that basically the, the Tampa Bay was going to be able to pull it together and win the Stanley Cup. Uh, tonight, with a live, uh, live camera and a live microphone, um, CM Punk dropped the, dropped the pipe bomb on the sports world, calling out Hulk Hogan. Um, you know, it's based, saying that basically he doesn't, you know, talk about Hulk Hogan. Uh, that basically Hulk Hogan, you know, spoke about CM Punk first. So Hogan, you know, uh, had one coming, and this is the receipt from CM Punk, um, basically saying that the Tampa Bay Lightning uh, organization should be embarrassed. Uh, for basically hitching a ride uh, with Hulk Hogan. Uh, he called Hulk Hogan a piece of garbage. Um, it said that basically he was a fake hockey fan for not uh, being able to pronounce the captain's name right. He called the head coach uh, by the wrong last name. Um, the coach's name is John Cooper. Hogan called, uh, I said it wrong to myself, I apologize, he called him John Cooper, his actual name is John Connor, um, but basically um, CM Punk said that the real hockey fans are in Chicago, and that Tampa Bay would be going down, so a little bit of smack talk of uh, wrestlers going at it, um, I thought it was good, because uh, you know, um, CM Punk, uh, every once in a while, someone will tweet him about wrestling, as uh, just the other day, it was the anniversary of CM Punk cashing in, becoming the uh, World Heavyweight Champion on Monday Night Raw, where he cashed in on Edge to become the, the champion, and um, 
uh, somebody had tweeted that to him, and uh, CM Punk said that um, it was because of guys like JBL and Edge that weren't afraid to give things to the guys that were underneath them uh, for putting them over and um, you know helping him get to the top. You know, without that, he wouldn't have became a star. Um, but uh, you know, for CM Punk to go onto his Twitter and call it Hulk Hogan, it sort of shows that he has his arm around his past professional wrestling days, even though he has been vocal to say that he thinks his, his wrestling career was a failure because he was not able to reach the top. But uh, it is fun to see CM Punk jump back into the uh, the wrestling headlines uh, with a feud against Hulk Hogan. And now people will probably thinking that it's a work for WrestleMania 32 CM Punk versus Hulk Hogan.